We're starting with the Punch newspapers this morning. Here it says, uh, 2023 election list. INEC clears Atiku, Tinubu, OB, 4,223 Josu for National Assembly. That's, a, that's an interesting figure. It's, it's very interesting, you know, because this is very similar to, you know, when you hear about uh, jobs in NIPOs, the you know, federal government jobs. Yes. When this is like what it looks like. like. Yes. Because they're trying to get positions. But of course, we know that a job in such positions has been made very colorful and very attractive. It's why they would jostle and do anything that they can to get these appointments. Um, yeah, you know, and this, uh, what, what we're hoping that we can do and we can achieve as a country is that these 4,000 people, you know, um, are the best of the best, you know, um, quality of people who are jostling for these seats. Not just anybody, not former governors, not, you know, random politicians. Also, Kwan Kwaso, Showare, 31 other presidential and vice presidential candidates sail through. Lawan, Machina, Obaseki's faction lose out. Akpabio makes list. Also, former President Jonathan Abdul Salam Ikuka call for peaceful polls. Still on the punch this morning. Buhari seeks Senate approval for 402 billion naira uh, promissory notes. Muslim Muslim ticket. APC risks losing polls, says Dogara. And uh, also reps probe NMPC's 32 year joint ventures. I'm just going to squeeze in two others. Buhari addresses United Nations General Assembly. Over 150 world leaders meet. And finally, defend 712 million naira fraud allegation, court tells Lamido. All right, now let's still stay in Nigeria with this Nigeria. On the front page, we have Senate raises alarm over crude oil theft. It will push economy into coma, says Lawan. And in the Senator Eki Akwaramadu's case, court fixes December 5th to rule in Ukwa's application. Details on page 10. That toll nears 100 in Jigawa amid ravaging floods. South South PDP opposes plots to locate zonal tour from Potako to Uyo on page 12. Obi triumphs in Edo as INEC recognizes factions candidate. And in our rather sad news, price of cooking gas rises by 101% in one year. What are we meant to cook with again? Oh, it's, it's just really sad. All right, that's what I can take this morning on this Nigeria. All right, let's go to South Africa and see what's on the sweatin' this morning. It says transparency wins the day, but CR17 and DZ donors stay secret. It says the Concord rules that beneficiaries of intra-party donations must declare source of funding but amendments will take effect in years' time and won't be retrospective. You can read more on page 4. Also, police warn of threat of boss attacks in Hateng. That's on page 2. Uh, Ramaphosa stunt won't turn on the lights. That's on page 15. Uh, we can also find here Mayor chased out of office on page 6 of the Sowetan this morning. And uh, there's a picture there of, uh, of uh, persons, uh, police and prisons, civil rights union members marched to the union buildings in Pretoria yesterday to hand in a memorandum of demands to the presidency. They're demanding 10% salary increase for its members. More on page 6. All right, now let's wrap things up this morning in the newspaper reviews by looking at what's happening in Tanzania. Let's take a look at the Citizen newspaper. On the front page, winners and losers as government finally acts on levies outcry. The government yesterday scrapped bank services levy and reduced mobile money transaction levies following strong criticism, but not all groups of people will benefit from the decision. The details of that on page 2. Tanzania satisfied with protocol on regional court. EAC chief defends oil pipeline project on page 3. Demand for coal in Europe, a bone for Tanzania. That's on page 4. And at the top of the paper, we have shield education during disasters appeal, page 5. And on page 8, new guidelines set to increase insurance uptake. And final story here, Africa. Um, talking about the outbreak of Ebola, Uganda announces first Ebola death since 2019. That's um, a story we're looking into as we proceed this morning on Breakfast Central. But further details of this is on page 10. <music>